ways to market your Etsy shop and your Etsy listings. Okay, first of all, before you even get started on marketing any of your items, you need to make sure that your shop looks fantastic. You know, make sure you have everything in there, your about me section, you know, make sure that everything, and I would also recommend that you at least have 25 to 30 listings before you even begin, but that is a matter of preference and it is totally up to you. Now, there are a ton of ways to market your Etsy shop, and I cannot fit that all into this video. So before anybody goes and thumbs down this video, um, I'm focusing on a few social media um, applications today, and that is what I'm, I'm going to stick to for today. So just keep that in mind because I do know that there's about 300 more ways to market your Etsy shop, but I'm going to stick with social media for right now and how you can do it completely free and some experiences that I have had. So before I jump into this video, I do want to say if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you do not miss out on any future videos that I will be uploading. Okay, so I want to start by saying that if you have an Etsy shop, everybody and their mother needs to know that you have an Etsy shop. So an example of that would be I'm on Facebook and I'm on our Etsy passive income group. And by the way, if you have not yet um, asked to join this group, all you have to do is search for Etsy passive income and make sure you're searching under groups. Um, answer the two questions and we will accept you into the group. Lots of informative information there. I got on here because I didn't want to go to my personal page and show people who have things marked privately just for friends only. So I'm right here and I'm on Facebook because I wanted to talk about this for a minute. So, you know, not all of your personal friends on Facebook are going to be interested in your Etsy instant downloads or whatever you're selling on Etsy. However, it's going to it's going to reach somebody, okay? And there's proof of that. So, it was just a couple of months ago I posted a picture of some of the graphics I had made. I believe they were watercolor logos, um, some of the watercolor wreaths that I had done. And I posted it on my personal Facebook page. And I got a message, and I was going to have this pulled up, but to keep the privacy, I wasn't going to do that, do that. So... And I could pull it up and blur it out, but it's easier just to go ahead and tell what happened. So whenever I posted the pictures of the, the beautiful logo um, watercolor wreath that I had designed, I received a message from an old friend of mine that I've known for quite a few years, and he was running in the election for mayor. And I was actually kind of shocked that he was running for mayor. I mean, this guy never ceases to amaze me on what he does. And he sent me a message and he said, do you think that you could do some graphics for my social media and for my campaign? And so I said, well, I'm not really sure if I would be skilled enough to do that. I said, send me a picture of what you're thinking and let me see what I can do. When he sent it to me, I thought, oh my gosh, I could do that easily. You know, so I told him no problem at all. I said, I can do that. And, you know, so I'm telling you, long story short here, when you are posting, not everybody is going to be interested on your personal Facebook page. However, it's going to hit somebody. Somebody is going to see it. Somebody's going to start asking questions. And then it's happened a couple of times. So then I recently posted another picture of one of the designs I made. I have like a little album of my designs. And I just post the picture. 
and a friend of mine asked me if I could make her a logo for her business and she wanted a rustic watercolor wreath um, you know sort of looking like that so I made that for her and she wanted to use it as her logo so I'm telling you if you post on your personal Facebook page people are going to see it okay so there's other things that you can do to market you can make up a Facebook page and you know invite your friends to like your page and you can post all of your work and things like that and even links to your listings you know things like that so the more people you reach here okay so I wanted to start out with kind of my least favorite way and then I'm gonna to go to probably my favorite way Pinterest when you have your Etsy listings Etsy will allow you to pin it directly to Pinterest right from your Etsy shop they already have those tools incorporated for you and you can incorporate your Etsy listings so when I used to do Etsy you know when I had three different shops I did that and I would pin things and that is how I really feel that I got my sales but there was really no analytics now here's another thing you can do I turned my Pinterest page into a business Pinterest page so it looks a little bit different than everybody else's now I do have my normal stuff on here like uh, crafty you know for the home outfits you know just normal it's still a normal Facebook page however I recently just started posting my YouTube passive income videos on here and this is telling me even how many views that it got just here on Etsy like this one got 22 views this one got 23 um, this one got 42 and so I just recently started posting these on Pinterest you know just trying to gain a little bit more traffic I thought I didn't think anything would come of it or anything like that so when I hop over here to YouTube analytics I go down here and this tells me where my traffic is coming from I'm already here on the page most of my traffic is coming from a Google search <clears throat> that tells me that I'm not doing too bad in the keyword search area um, it says that 50% is coming from a Google search and then it goes down here well then down here on Pinterest and I just started doing this this is telling me that I've got 7% that came from Pinterest and I just started doing that so is what you can do with your Etsy listings is you can take those and pin them directly to Pinterest and then you can go back and edit it and you know type out whatever you want and if somebody clicks on that and they see something they like and they want to buy it they're going to click on it and it's going to take them directly to your Etsy shop page right from Pinterest so that is one good thing about Etsy is they will allow you to pin it directly to your Pinterest account so once again I when I go here and I go home I honestly recommend that you take your Pinterest account and just switch it to the business it was free for me to do that and then all of these things you get to choose the photos that you want up here at the top and I have a board that is like motivational um, it's my girl boss quotes so basically I took all of these quotes and though these are the ones that show the most you know up at the top of my personal page so Pinterest and Facebook okay so far we're we're touching on that also if you do want to start a YouTube channel you can market your 
Etsy listings there as well. So, um, okay, so I'm going to get into another way. Now, I am just now starting a business Instagram page. So, I'm, you know, I don't really have a lot of followers yet, and I need a total Instagram makeover. So once again, before anybody goes thumbing down the video, I'm just now new to um, Instagram and I do, I am very well aware that it does need a makeover. So, you know, I need to make sure that my pictures and everything fits in here. This was just me posting, you know, I was excited whenever I was close to 500 subscribers, you know, and then I, I've got some motivational things in here. Um, I'm not going to be the girl who didn't pursue her dreams because she didn't have the money. And then I do have a few things on here. But the main thing here is that at the top, I do have a link to my YouTube channel. And, um, you know, once again, this is something I'm working on. However, I do know how to market with Instagram, even though, you know, I need to upgrade this. Also, if you, if you all have not followed me on Instagram, you can find me here. Now, you're going to probably find me twice. I do have a personal Instagram account, and it is open. It's public. I would prefer that you follow me on this account, my business account, because this is where I'm going to be posting, you know, most of my things. Okay, so let's say that you are making you know, wedding invitations or invitations of some sort. So is what we're going to do, you, you're going to take the picture of the wedding invitation that perhaps you put on a mock-up photo on Etsy. And then you're going to take that and you're going to put a picture of it. You're going to post it on Instagram and you're going to hashtag it galore. So, I mean, for example, you're going to, put on there, you're going to put gobs of hashtags, you're going to put, you know, wedding, engagement, you know, you're going to put all these hashtags. And then is what you're going to do next is you're going to go up here and you're going to actually search those hashtags. So um, let's see if I type just got just got engaged and let's see what comes up here and is what we're looking for here is we are going to look for somebody who it doesn't necessarily have a whole lot of followers we're not looking for celebrities so let me see here Okay, let me see how many she has because we want somebody who does not have a whole lot of people. So she's got, she only has 401 followers. So is what we're going to do here is we're going to go to that post where she just got engaged and we're going to click to like it. Okay, well, because she doesn't have that many followers, she's going to be curious as to who you are and she's probably going to go to your page and... You know, because it is public, you're free to like it. Um, if she wants to keep everything private, then she, you know, they can do that. So when we type in just got engaged, you're going to click to like it. And you also want to make sure that it is a recent post. So let's see how recent this is. Okay, and that one is not recent, so let's find one that is. That's all you're looking for is you are looking for one that is that is new.
Okay, so all you would do here in this case is you would click to like it, and this person, you know, they don't have a whole lot of followers, and they're going to see, they're going to be interested on, you know, they're going to be interested in who clicked on it, and they're probably going to go to your profile, they're going to see your wedding invitations, and you put a link in the bio on your Instagram page that is to your Etsy shop. So this is on just got engaged. And then there's other keywords you can type, you know, so let's see here. If you were searching for someone who just had a baby because you're wanting to promote your birth announcement that you just made, you're going to post a picture of that on Instagram and then you're going to put gobs of hashtags that have to do with having a baby. So then you're going to actually search those hashtags. So let's see what comes up. Um, new baby girl. Okay, so we have all of these here. And then once again, and this was just recent within a week ago, you're going to actually click right here to like this. Okay. And they do not have a whole lot of followers. It doesn't look like, and they're, it's, they're not a celebrity or anything like that. So that is something that you could easily do. So all you would have to do is just click to like it. It's not spamming them, you're not commenting on it or anything like that, or you, you can comment and say something like, you know, she's so beautiful, and you can click to like it, and then they're going to be like, who the heck is this, and then they're going to click on your name, and then they're going to see the picture of your birth announcement. Okay, so that is another way to do that. Um, so once again, people, there are a million ways to market your Etsy shop. You really just have to be create, creative. Remember what I said at the beginning of the video, if you have an Etsy shop, or if you have two, or if you have three Etsy shops, everybody and their mother needs to know you have one. And the more you get it out there, and the more you post on social media, the more you're gonna get back, okay? So, you know, not everybody is going to be interested, but it is, this is definitely a start here, you know, and maybe I can do another video on other ways to, you know, market your Etsy shop, and I can do that in the near future because I do have a ton more ideas. I was just sticking with social media for right now. You can also use Snapchat, too. You can like use Snapchat and just take a picture of what you just created right from your computer and, you know, put it on Snapchat and let everybody see. So I think my favorite ways here are, you know, just posting it on social media. And then, you know, you do want to make sure, once again, before you even think about marketing your Etsy shop, make sure that your store looks fantastic. Make sure that your listings Make sure you're using full advantage of that title description that they give you because Etsy gives you 140 characters to write a title and you want to try to use up as much of that as you possibly can. So, you know, for example, if you were selling, you know, t-shirts for print on demand and you were selling like a beach t-shirt, you might put and you might put on there, the, the first thing it should say is, um, you know, beach t-shirt, but then you might want to say, you know, shirt for vacation or um, gift idea for beach lover type thing. So you really want to do that. But this video isn't so much about Etsy SEO. This is about marketing your, your Etsy shop. So um, anyway, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification 
so you do not miss out on any future videos that I will be uploading. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a great day.